Okay, we're going. So this is the wonderful Kelby. And she is a health coach, right? Yes. And um, so I've been wanting to talk to you before I started doing my 30-day diet thing. But now it's even more relevant to my life. So first of all, tell us what it is, what is a health coach? So I usually say I'm like a certified health and wellness coach. So I focus on three aspects of our health. Mm -hmm. Focus on healthy body, healthy mind, and healthy finances. Mm. Um, and I really just help people, like I f help people figure out what they want, their goals, and then I help coach them to their goals. Okay. Um, and yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> it's really rewarding because I get to help people. That's awesome. So what is, how has that changed your life? Um, in lots of ways it's changed my life. Um, first of all, I became a health coach. Um, hey, you want me to look at the camera? You can look at the camera or you can just look at me over here. It doesn't okay. matter. Okay. So, um, what was your question? How has it changed my life? Um, well, first of all, the reason I even come, came across the program that I teach and that I coach people through was because I needed help myself and I had goals that I needed to reach and the only, I tried to reach them in my own ways and nothing worked. Mm -hmm. um, I tried quite a few different things as well and it just never worked for me. I could never commit to something. So I found this through a friend and I began my own health journey mm -hmm. in having a healthier mind, a healthier body, and, and healthier finances. And, um, and anyway, so now that I do that, um, or ne because I've had my own health journey, the whole reason, what am I trying to say? I, I had to find it and do it myself. And then I realized this is amazing. This has like blessed me, and so I wanted to find a way to help other people get the same results as me and feel the same way that I feel. So then I started coaching, and so it helps me maintaining my healthy mind, healthy body, healthy finances. And not only that, but it's helped me to like provide for my family financially and feel like I'm um, helping in that way. I've I've worked all my life. I don't know what it's like to not work mm -hmm. until I became a mom and stayed at home and it was really uncomfortable. I didn't like it. So I needed something to make me feel like I was contributing to the family financially as well. That, and it helps me to do that. And it helps me in ways that I, I get to like, I feel fulfilled because I'm helping people reach their goals and I get to see before and afters physically but also mentally and and in people's like the way they live even when it comes to finances that's awesome but I could go on and on <laughs> about how it has changed my life because <laughs> it really has one yeah I can tell you look happier you um you've lost weight you just like radiate more confidence and excitement and stuff like I can tell a big difference just as your friend so that's exciting. I like that you can see that because that's what yeah. I want. You know, I don't, it's not all about losing weight and seeing somebody physically change with weight loss, but I like to see people glow and see a light in their eyes mm -hmm. and see that they are excited about life and that you can feel it when they talk. That's what's important to me and mm -hmm. that's what I get to see as well. And it's, it's cool that you can see that in me because I get to see that in my clients and other people. So mm -hmm. it's cool. Thanks. Well, I'm sure that makes you an even better coach because you really do care. That's the type of person you are. You're just a kind, generous person. So I can totally see that this, you know, is kind of your destiny, you know, amongst other things. I yeah. feel like you're going to branch out into more ways of helping people as well. But, like, to see you, like, starting on that path of, you know, that's who you are, a, a helper, you know. Mm -hmm. So... It's funny that you were saying how, the, you know, we're trying things and things are working because I don't know if you've seen that, some of the videos I made, but I talked about how I just kind of vaguely was like, okay, I'm going to eat better, you know, exercise a little bit more. And I did notice results, but not the type of results that I wanted, you know, and that's okay. I only give myself a month, which was way not enough time. So I have another two months 
And um, so I'm looking for new ways to, you know, like, new help. Like, I don't know what else to do. And so that's one of the reasons why I want to talk to you is to get some of your advice on things that I can do. And especially being, you know, a mom of toddlers. Like, how can I have healthy meals that my kids are going to want to eat and all of yeah. that. Well, I would have to ask you a lot of questions. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. So what, um, what do you want to ac- accomplish with your health? So I want to feel really energetic and I have noticed a difference in, you know, just eating healthier and exercising a little bit more and stuff. Um, but I want, I remember feeling more. I remember when I was really in shape, just feeling really like, not just energetic, but like light, you know, and kind of like, like easy, like things were a lot easier. And I also, I mean, I don't want to get into normal person shape. I want to get into model shape, you know, so that's a little bit different than most people are aiming for. Like I want to get completely toned you know what I mean yeah and so and I've I've heard you know it starts in the kitchen flat stomach starts in the kitchen and I eat pretty healthy but not healthy enough I feel like I'm I, there's a lot a lot to health that I don't understand yet and as I'm reading and looking into it there's just so much information yeah that I'm like overwhelmed like don't eat meat. Yes, eat meat. Don't, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Don't eat yogurt. Like, oh, yeah, definitely eat yogurt. Like, all this stuff. And so, I just want more information. The more information, the more better, the better choices I can make, yeah, you know? I like that. So, if you, why do you want to get into model shape? Like, what are your dreams? Are you wanting to model? Yeah. I love modeling. Like, not just the pictures part, but like actually being at the photo shoot and like, it's just so much fun for me. I was telling the photographer the other day that I feel the same about modeling as I do painting. Like my creative juices start flowing and I feel so like in tune with, I don't know, like nature even just being like, it's just part of who I am. And then to see the pictures, it's like, I feel the same about my pictures as I do my paintings, like the pride and like, look what I made, you know, this beautiful picture of me or whatever, you know, like this is, this is, yeah, it just makes me happy. Why? Why does it make me happy? Because I feel proud of it. I feel, I love seeing beautiful things. I love creating beautiful things. I love sharing beautiful things. And so I love inspiring people, and I feel like um, with with a photo shoot you can do that. Not necessarily all of my photos are gonna be inspiring, but like there's definitely pictures of mine that I can look at and be like, oh, that makes me feel joy, and that makes me feel like like that picture. I look so sassy or like so like emotional or whatever, you know. So do you want to do this for, like, a job? Would you like to make money through this? Or is this something more of a hobby? Or maybe both? Both. I mean, I would keep doing it even if I wasn't making money at it. I mean, as much, you know, income outlets that I have, the better. Yeah. Um, Especially because I want to help people, and I'd rather be able to do that for free and then make money from, you know, modeling and writing or whatever. So either or. (laughs) <laughs> so that's like your, that's your goal then, right? Is that, that's what you want to do? That and then, you know, making my videos. I want to help people. Um, I write. I want to dance. I want to do lots of things. But yeah, that's, that's something I probably want to keep doing for the rest of my life. That's awesome. Do you feel like where you're at is kind of holding you back from that? Like physic or like not physically, but in all aspects of your health, do you feel like you're, you're it's holding you back from your dreams? Yeah, in a way that, like, because I'm a single mom with two toddlers, so I'm just exhausted all the time, so I need any help to get more energy, Yes. and I need more income, and I need to feel more passionate. Like, for, you know, a long time, I was just so down in the dumps, and I'm over that. I'm done with that. Like, I want to start doing things that I'm proud of, and making healthy choices, and... And teaching my kids healthy choices. I mean, they're they're so young that I could get them started on a healthy lifestyle for the rest of their lives. Set them up. 
like that, you know? Why is that important to you? To have them be healthy? Mm -hmm. Because for me, it's like I had to learn as an adult and retrain myself. And it was so hard. And and I already had, you know, not health problems I was dealing with, really, but like, you know, I wasn't as healthy as I could have been. And I had insecurity issues because I was a little chubby growing up because I wasn't active and we weren't eating right. And I just never learned that myself. And so now I had to retrain myself. So I'd love for my kids to just not have to deal with that. Just, you know. Absolutely. Implement those habits in your life, which just naturally trip or trick, not, not trip, trick down into your kids' lives. Yeah. I love that. That's cool. So back, going back to what you want to accomplish with your health. So we went into something there. What else? Is there anything else? If there's not, that's okay. But I just want to be able to touch on everything. I want to be able to go to sleep easier and stay asleep. And I feel like if I'm not active enough, then that affects that. And like I was eating way better this last month. And then so the last couple days, I was like, I'm going to give myself a few days to just eat whatever because I've been denying myself. And Oh, it made me sick. That was kind of my goal was to just like give it to myself until I fall sick and then sick of it. And then like today I ate a salad. I was like, I don't want it anymore. (laughs) And I love, and it was like the best salad I've had all month because finally my body was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. (laughs) And so just to feel good. Cool. I like that. So let's let's talk about energy you talked about wanting to have enough energy Mm -hmm. to do all the things that you want and still be a mom Mm -hmm. um and I know you and Mm -hmm. I know that you take pride in being a good mom Mm -hmm. and so I I can totally relate in that way that (laughs) you need energy to be able to do that it's hard Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. my patience when I don't have the right amount of energy or if I if, if I'm not eating right or too much sugar, I can feel it and I'm so snappy. Yeah. And it's interesting yeah. that sugar makes me feel that way. Like it's so interesting. So I can totally relate to you in like, in that way. Um, so energy, on a lo- like level from one to ten, where are you at energy wise? I'd say like a six or seven. Okay. You want where do you want to be? Nine or ten. Okay. Cool. I mean, I feel like I'm at the prime of my life. Like, I want to be at a ten so I can go down from there as I age, you know? <laughs> totally. <laughs> and then I want to be able to play with my kids more. And, like, I find that I'll, like, check out. You know I mean? I'm just so overwhelmed and stressed out and I'm cleaning and, you know, cooking and just doing all these things. That when I'm, like, sitting there, I, like, get on my phone or I get into a book and then I kind of check out instead of, like, getting on the floor and playing with my kids more. Like, I do do that, but I know I'm not doing that as much as I could. Yeah. Or as much as maybe you want to, right? Yeah. Yeah. I can totally relate to that as well. Something I'm really trying to focus on right now. Yeah. It's hard. It's so funny because as I've gone through my journey, I've realized that, like, your body and your mind and your soul and your emotions and all of that are all affected by each other. Mm -hmm. So I found that as I was struggling, I wasn't really struggling spiritually, but I, in ways I was, but I was mostly struggling mentally and emotionally and physically. Mm -hmm. So when I started working on my physical health, actually, when I started working on my mental health, I wanted to work on my physical health. Mm -hmm. Then when I started working on my physical health, my mental and emotional health started to improve as well. Mm -hmm. And so I know that they all like they're intertwined and they go together. And I know you know that too. Mm -hmm. And so when you, when we focus on those things, when you, it, it helps every aspect of our life, especially in being a mom. So I, I love that. And being able to juggle everything that I hear you want to do, Mm -hmm. which I know you can do all of those things. You have the capacity to do that. Mm -hmm. Anybody does, but you especially have that. You just, yeah. It's like finding what helps you to be able to do that. Well, it just sounds exhausting to even, like, talk about all the things that I want to do. I'm like, where am I going to find time in the day? It's like, really, though, if I was waking up earlier, if I was sleeping better at night, because, like, if I work out, I sleep better. And not, like, you know, restless leg or whatever, you know, like, just restless in bed, just laying there. Yeah. So if I was more tired at night and falling asleep, and having better habits of actually going to bed on time, waking up early, 
and then finding that time and then having energy to be on my feet all day long. Like, I don't have energy for that right now. Yeah. Like, do you feel like you have energy to like prepare meals, plan for them, shop for them, oh all of that? Like that, no, that's, <laughs> that's exhausting too. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, and I, I'm not going to cook three meals a day. I don't really enjoy cooking. And if like, and so I, I get kind of easier things for lunch, like, you know, cubed cheese and, you know, cherry tomatoes, things like that, that so I don't have to cook. Yeah. But it's still the planning and, and then even at night, like, I make sure I have some frozen things just in case. Yeah. Like if I don't have enough energy and I wish I never had to do that, but it does come down or I'll be like, just, I give up because I clean and clean and clean and clean and they're just following me making a mess and it's like um it's never complete and I don't ever feel that like yes it's done <laughs> and yeah you know <laughs> and then I like give up I'm like you know what I've been cleaning for four days straight it's still not clean I'm just gonna give up and then for like two days I just let them tear apart the house and then I clean for like two days straight and then I'm exhausted and then I like crash for like a whole day I'm just like on the couch and we're like I'm like pajama day <laughs> And then, you know, we eat all of our meals in the living room and I'm just like on the couch because I, I don't know how to stop either. That I need. Yeah, that's hard. It's not just like I need to get the motivation to start going. I also need to be able to be like, Kate, okay, you've been cleaning for three hours straight. You are going to crash hard if you don't stop now. You need to start slowing down. Even when I was pregnant, my ex would be like, you know, you, you need to, you know, you know, sit down. I'm like, okay. I'll just go get a cup of water. And then on my way, I'd see things and pick them. And then an hour later, I'm like, shoot. And I'm like out of breath. And like, just, and then I would like crash hard and just be so miserable. And so that's something else I want to learn is to like, how to, how to get the motivation to start and then to stop and be like, this is the time I do this. Or, you yeah. know, I don't even know. I don't even know what Structure. I need to do, but I need to learn how to do that. Cause I'm so like, I was, oh, I'm going to go with the flow, like, things will just happen, and blah, blah, blah. And as a mom, that doesn't really work, I've oh, noticed. Takes preparation. Yeah, and, like, my kids need schedule, and I'm getting better at that. But, like, for myself, when I first started the workout, the 30-day, I had all this motivation and momentum, and then it slowed down, and then there was Christmas and stuff, and I got distracted, and then it wasn't, like... I'm like, I don't have the discipline for this. I didn't realize it really does require, like, I don't know. I don't know what it requires, but that's the point. Like, I don't yeah. know. That's where I was, too. I, I knew, like, health was always important to me. And, like, not just physical health, but all aspects of health mm -hmm. was so important to me. But I just didn't know where to start. I, like, I tried some things, and a lot of it was kind of like, oh, here, take this, or take this supplement with this, or work out this way, mm -hmm. and then just, like, figure out your own meal plan. And I learned that that just didn't work for me. And I had been taught that, like, oh, if you just exercise and eat less, then you'll be okay. And mm -hmm. that is not true. And, and I learned that our health is made up like 80% of what we eat and 20% of how active we are. Like the activity is important, but it's not the foundation is what we eat. And mm -hmm. it's hard to know what to eat because there's mm -hmm. so many, like you were saying in the beginning, there's so many things out there, so many people saying different things that have helped them and it's hard to know where to start. So th this is just something that I, I just thought, okay, whatever, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try it. I'm not even, I didn't even really, I wasn't super excited about it, but I tried it and it totally worked for me and it helped me to learn how to have a structure, how to have a schedule and it helped me to be in control of like when to start, when to stop and to maintain that and it was sustainable. I, it's been a year since, like a year last week since I first started and I lost 25 pounds in two months and now I've maintained it this whole time. Yeah. Like the whole time. And that's amazing. Like mm -hmm. you don't find stuff like that. Diets don't work. Diets don't do that. Mm -hmm. Diets are you eat food a certain way. You deprive yourself sometimes. You lose weight and then you gain it right back. Mm -hmm. And then you do it again and then you gain it right back. You know, mm -hmm. that's what dieting is. And diets, they just don't work. So my what I really like to share is that you can change your lifestyle. But you, you're right. There is There has to be structure and there has mm -hmm. to be some sort of work put in even mm -hmm. though 
but but it can be simple and easy, and I'll get to that. But um, going back to you, um, I've got a couple questions. I, the first question, um, on a scale from like one to ten, ten being super motivated, one being not motivated at all, um, how motivated are you right now to making changes to your health? I honestly say like a seven or eight. Okay. I really let myself go until pretty much on my whole life. I let it go until I absolutely cannot stand it. And then I have this like burst. And I've done that with like everything that works for me. I know that's not going to work for everybody, but like I get so stubborn that I can't have a hard time fighting myself. So I have to really want it. And I like have gotten to that point where I'm just like, that's why I started my diet right before Christmas. Cause yeah. I could not, I, I was ready. I'm like, I'm not going to lose this momentum right now. Like, I want to do it now. And that says a lot about who you are because a lot of people say, oh, I'm just going to wait till the end. I'm just going to start at the beginning of the year. But if you want to start right before Christmas to help you propel yourself into the new year, that's impressive and that says something about you. So oh, I agree. I, I would think you're more than us. I would think you're like an eight or a nine. But, <laughs> but I don't really know. You It's you that knows where you're at. But Well, I feel like once I'm in it and already doing it and then I'll be even more and like because now I still have the fears and the doubts and the confusion and where to start and Ow. all those things yeah all those things weighing on that number so so once those things I'm like I'm doing it I'm doing it. I'll feel even more motivated to do more yeah. and more and more for sure especially when you start seeing results and start yeah. seeing things change in your life whether mm -hmm. that's physical results or just the way that you feel energy levels for mm -hmm. sure uh, yeah, that's something. I'll get into that. I'll go into my little story too. But um, okay, one more question. It kind of goes back to like your dreams. What are you doing right now, like um, financially? Like, what ways? And if you don't feel comfortable answering, you don't have to answer. But what are you doing to make money now? And is it is it fulfilling you? So my dad owns a taxi and limo company in Utah County. And I was trying to figure out ways, because I was a stay-at-home mom, and I'm a single mom, so I was trying to figure out ways to keep staying at home with my kids, but make money. So I was like, well, if I start a branch in Logan of my dad's company, yeah. that's already an established company, um, and I can make money that way. It has been way harder than I realized. Like, even just getting drivers. They, people are so flaky, mm -hmm. they're just disappearing. I actually have hired a few people, and then they just don't answer the phones ever again. Mm, that's frustrating. Just things like that. And it's not a, it's not what I want to do with my life. But it is something I, I'm going to inherit the company. So to invest in the company is also investing in my future, my kids' future. I mean, that's a, a family legacy that I want to continue. But ideally, I would hire someone to handle all the little things. Because it stresses me out. Yeah. It's... And... It does um, stress me out, too. Yeah. Yeah. And... So I'm doing that, and then I do, like, my life advisory stuff, um, and then I do, like, a cleanse people's houses. So I make money here and there from stuff like that, um, working on making a website to get all that going. But I'm not tech savvy. So, you know, I'm getting help here and there, but, I mean, I'm really pushing to get everything going, and, and nothing is, has worked so far. Which has been frustrating because I just kind of assumed that things would just happen right away. Because I've been preparing myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually for years. So I was like, as soon as I'm ready, it'll just happen. So I was like, okay, I'm ready. And then nothing happened. And I was like, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? So I'm just like trying to figure everything out all at once. So where, like, what's your next step? Like, what do you... Yeah, what, what's your, are you still just trying to like figure it out until you get to a point where you can, well, I guess let's talk about your modeling stuff. You really want to model. Mm -hmm. I know that you want to continue your life advisory stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to say stuff because it makes it sound insignificant because it's very significant. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like where, yeah, like what, how are you planning on getting there? Or are you still trying to figure that out? And if that's. I'm just trying to figure everything out. I'm just, I'm, I'm going. I'm just moving. I'm following my intuition. I'm doing everything I think of. If it doesn't work, I think of new things. I'm just, I, I just tell myself, just keep going. 
like just keep going yeah. and that's the best I can do and then you know I'm reaching out for people that know you know like you I'm like hey <laughs> what should I do you know and I just keep working and then I know that I, I really have trust that things are going to work out and you know, I've got the business cards for the taxi and as soon as I find reliable drivers, then I can, you know, I'll make a portion of everything that they're bringing in. So, I mean, I could be making money as early as tomorrow on that. So it's just like, just keep going. It'll yeah. happen. You're awesome. You really are. <laughs> like, you inspire me because you, I feel like your faith and trust is way, um, sometimes greater than mine. I don't, don't want to compare, but like, yeah, you just like believe things are gonna happen and you manifest them and it's really it's really cool. I like I like to hear all of that. I've just done it before. I've done it several times before where I had a dream and I accomplished it way more than I ever even dreamed and then realized it wasn't what I wanted. But like getting to that point where I was like, I have everything I want. You know, it kind of makes everything seem so much less intense. Like it's not that big a deal. Yeah, it's you know, For me, it was, after that, it was really finding who I was and what I wanted. That was the hard work. Mm. For me, that's the hardest work of all. It's not actually getting there. It's finding what it is exactly. But, but yeah, now I know who I am and I know what I want to do. And I'm just ready to do what it takes, you know? Yeah. So do you feel like, so... I don't want to assume. I'm assuming, but I, I don't want to assume, so I'm going to mm -hmm. ask you questions that I could obviously assume. So do you feel like working on that, phys like your physical health and all of those other aspects of your health will help you get to where you want to be? Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, it's an important part of the modeling. And then with, you know, a life advisory, like, I am very good at the emotional, mental, spiritual stuff. But until I had the physical people aren't really going to take it seriously. They're going to be like, well, what are you going to tell me on how to get my dreams? Because most of what people think about and want are physical things. And for me, I'm like, that is just the, t the you know, the, the least bit of it. But, you know, once I'm starting to get more successful, people will take me more seriously and want to hire me more and more. Like, as soon as it starts, it'll just start, like, continuing, you know. I love that. That's cool. Anything? What? Hmm. The other day you posted something about your skin, and like I can tell a difference. You were saying how you feel like it's glowing, and because you're healthy eating, like it's so much better and stuff. I can tell. What's really funny too is yesterday my skin was a lot clearer than today because yesterday I ate crap. I uh -huh. ate, and I can see it. Like it's Isn't that so crazy? nuts that like. Um, I wake up in the morning and it's like a reminder. Oh, why did you eat like that, Kelby? Like, just, <laughs> just eat healthy. But it's hard. It's something that I really love about what I do. And I never proclaim to be perfect or know everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a perfect coach. Of course not. But, like, I really am not. And I don't want anyone to think that because I am learning this as well. I was actually talking to a client today who's actually my best friend. And we, and I just got emotional because I'm thinking like, I don't know how to do this stuff either. Like I'm still working on my mindset. I'm still working on how to like think about food and how to think about life and retrain my brain to think that way. Like I'm still working on that too. And that's what I love. That's why I love health coaching is because I get to do that. I get to work on myself while helping other people work on them too. Yeah. You know, like we get mm -hmm. to do it together. I'm not here to say you should do it this way or you should do it that way because the way that I did it actually wasn't the best way. I, it was all or nothing. And the all or nothing mentality isn't healthy, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm, like, learning how to, like, yes, this has happened, but this still has a lot of weight to lose. And yeah. so, weight to lose, you know? And so, um, well, yeah, it's heavy. I'm working on it. Yeah. Mental stuff, it's heavy. It weighs you down. Yeah. It's hard. But, so, okay, so I want to tell you a little bit about my story. Is that cool? Yeah. So I was at a point where... Um, well, I've always struggled with anxiety and depression, and I just didn't know what it was in high school, and then it got really bad in college, and then it got a little bit better. Anyway, I went on a mission for my church, and it got worse after coming home, and then I got married and had a baby, and then I gained weight, 
and I was super depressed and anxious, not because of the weight, but just because of my emotions and what was going on with the chemistry in my head. I but think that's when I met you, was right around that time period. Yes, a little after, well, how long have we known each other? Over a year and a half, probably. Yeah, probably So it's half. been about a year and a half since I started making changes. So yeah. Yeah. That's because of me. Yeah. <laughs> Cindy! <laughs> I was like, I was at the lowest of my lows. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, because I'm on camera and because I feel comfortable with you, mm -hmm. I, I will be completely open. I don't usually share this with everybody that I'm talking about the program with, my program and my health coaching. But I hit a low. Like, I... I got to the point where I was so depressed that I couldn't feed myself. I had no appetite, which was so weird because I do, I have been an emotional eater and, and I couldn't even eat my emotions. It was so weird. And then if I did, I would either eat nothing at all or I'd eat everything all at once and it was all crap food and I had no energy to do anything. And I was, I really, I was just trying to keep my kid alive and mm -hmm. feed him. And I got to the point where I had the thought if this is what life is going to be like I don't want to do it anymore and that scared me because I know that I'm probably brave enough to like go down that route and so I then thought no 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 Kelby do not think those thoughts like and I don't blame myself for thinking that thought I think that's just my brain it's just my way my way of coping or whatever I don't know I don't know the science behind that I'm still learning all that I've been there though it's hard we're like if it's not going to change I don't want to continue. And there was no hope for change. Mm -hmm. Like, I really did not believe that anything could change. I really didn't. Mm -hmm. That this is it. Like, th this is how I'm going to feel for the rest of my life. And I couldn't even look back and remember th times where I didn't feel that way. And I had no hope for the future. So then I, but I decided, no, 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 I'm not going to go down that route of, like, not wanting to do this life. Because that's, mm -mm, I don't want to do that. So then I started thinking of other coping mechanisms, other things I could do to, like, numb me or help me. And... None of them, they seemed really dumb. And anyway, this is like my spiritual side where I, I really learned to get to know Jesus Christ. And that's mm -hmm. where everything kind of changed for me. But we don't need to go into that. So um, so that's where I was. And then I was also, at the same time, a lot of the feelings that I was having probably stemmed from my childhood trauma, which I mm -hmm. know you know about. Mm -hmm. Um so I, yeah, sexually abused as a kid and that like has just stayed with me. And I really think that depression and anxiety stems a lot from that. Oh, yeah. Um, and so I was also dealing with that. I was finally addressing that and finally, um, letting that come to the surface. Mm -hmm. And so then I like went to a retreat that helped me and I learned about how our mental health and emotional health and spiritual health and uh, physical health all go together. I remember when you came back from that and you were yeah. so excited. Yeah. Because I was changed, ready. Yeah. I was like, I have this knowledge that this is what I need to do and that mm -hmm. this is what's, this is how, like, this is how it is. And then I thought, okay, well, what am I going to do about it? So I started going to therapy, working on my mental health. Helped a ton. And then I remembered, wait, I got to work on my physical health. I'm not happy with the way that I look. I'm not happy with the way that I feel. Mm -hmm. I need to do something. So I tried some things.